Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, short presentation of GBN Smith 360 Suite Solutions to streamline and extend SAP uh, business objects. My name is Leona Barnou. Um, I am a BOE expert. I used to be a BOE consultant and I am now working with GBN Smith as the pre-sales manager, managing basically the deployment of our solution with our customers. Today, what I propose you is a quick introduction of GBN Smith, who we are and what we do, um, then the history of the 360 suite, and then a quick highlight of each product of the 360 suite to show you the main features. GBN Smith was created in 2007 in France. We have now more than 500 customers worldwide to administrate 1 million business object users. We are now 50 people in the company, in several offices in France, in Lille and Grenoble, in the UK, in London, and in the US with our Boston office. The concept of 360 Suite is really simple. It's to answer all questions which may take hours to get an answer or which don't have any answer at all in the business object uh, administration tools. For example, you want to set up a right, 10 minutes in the CMC, one minute in 360 Suite. You want to restore a deleted personal document, impossible using the CMC, two clicks in 360 Suite. So the 360 Suite is composed of several products. All of them support all business object versions, beginning with XIR2 to the latest SPs of BI 4.1, soon BI 4.2, because as we are SAP technology partner, we can access all the new versions of business object in beta and make sure that our products are working against all versions. Um, let's now review each product one by one with a quick highlight of the main features. So first, 360 view. The, this product was the first one in the 360 suite. It basically provides an alternative of the CMC in order to manage the content and to set up the security. It comes with lots of jobs to import users, to import folders, universities, connections, and also security features in order to set up the rights in matrices and to control the inheritance of the security. 360 View is basically a web app deployed on the same business object server than the behind launchpad or the CMC. You will log on the application with a business object user and it's organized in tabs, users, objects, categories, universes, and connections tabs in order to administrate the content and security tab to set up the rights and document the security. In all content tabs, you will find the same layout, containers and content in the middle, here it's groups and users, documentation at the bottom, and bulk import in the middle. For example, you want to bulk import some users, you can first export the users to an Excel spreadsheet, in order first, of course, to document, but also to update, must change password at, at next logon for everyone. Just copy and paste all the properties for all the users, save the file, come back in 360 and import it in order to update all users for the next logon. And it's the same for all kinds of objects. For example, you can bulk update universities for lots of web reports with one single import job. And it's the same for variables or recurring instances. You can also bulk create and update categories, universe folders and restrictions, and connection folders with connections. In 360 view, the security will be managed from matrices. In order to set up a matrix, you will first select the groups in order to create the columns, the folders to create the lines, and the security will be documented in this UI. You will see explicit rights and inherited rights. You want to change the right, you just click the intersection between a group and a folder, 
change the right here, update it, and automatically double check the consequences of a security change. You want to bulk update several intersections. You can select these and then change the inheritance options to break directly this inheritance. Now the security is correct and it's possible to automatically document it to an Excel spreadsheet in order to keep control over the global security. The secu this documentation is auto automatically created and it's also possible to schedule it. Then 360 plus. 360 plus is our product to manage bio objects. It comes with comparison, promotion and backup features. The main feature is the backup one with a full delta backup of the global content, but a selective restore of each single object. A universe has been overwritten. You have the ability to roll back to the previous version. A single personal document has been deleted. You can restore it in two clicks. Comparison and promotion features will require to log on multiple CMSs. Then from the content tabs, users, objects, categories, universes and, connect and connections, it's possible to load both CMSs in one tab and to do a drag and drop in order to promote the objects from one environment to another. It's also possible to schedule the promotion from the schedule tab with lots of options like delta mode or migrate with flag based on the description of the objects and also to compare CMSs from the compare tab. Regarding the backup, the first step will be to schedule the backup job from the schedule tab. The first run will create one version for all objects in the environment. The next runs are delta backup, creating new versions for new objects and updated objects. The backup will run daily so that all objects are properly backed up every day. To use the versions, there are two options. First one is to roll back overwritten objects from the content tabs, connections, universes, categories, objects or users tabs. It's possible to right click any kind of objects and to roll back to previous versions. Second option is to restore deleted objects. Let's take an example. One personal folder with several reports. The personal folder has been deleted with 360 plus it's possible to restore it from recycle bins. There is one recycle bin per kind of object, and it's possible to search for documents or folders. Then just right click and restore the folder with all the reports. All the objects will be restored in a few seconds and be back directly within the behind launchpad. Then 360 cast. 360 cast has been developed to add dynamism to the publications. It provides features to better manage the destination list, like with Excel file, SQL table, or bio report containing destinations and filters. And it also comes with direct link to an enterprise job scheduler in order to trigger the schedules and to get feedbacks. 360 cast will be configured from the schedule tab. The first step will be to set up a destination list, which can be Excel, CSV, SQL, BO report, or directly within the application. A destination list will contain destinations, types, and formats, which are mandatory, and then filter columns in order to apply prompts or to filter the documents for each destination. Destination list will be then used in 360 cast publications. In a publication, you will first define one or several reports to run. Reports can be Webby, Crystal or Desky reports. Then you will define the frequency or external in order to set up the link 
with the Enterprise Job Scheduler. This link will return codes depending on the status of the task. Then, using one of the destination lists, you will map the mandatory information, destination, type, and format, and then either set up prompts for the selected reports in order to populate the values, or use filters in order to directly filter a universe object with the values coming from the destination list. Then several options are available, for example, to rename the exports or to populate all email properties. All tasks are running directly from 360Cast and it's also possible to document these. Then 360Bind. 360Bind is the last product which was developed in the 360 suite. This product provides automated report testing in order to identify regressions during a migration or when a new universe is delivered or even when a new SP is applied on the BO platform. The comparison will be done in two steps. First, an export of the reports. The export is quite similar with what we have seen with 360Cast. Select few reports to compare, then select the frequency, and populate the prompt values in order to fix the data for the comparison and only identify regressions coming from the business object platform. The export is done twice on two different platforms or on one platform over time in order to have two exports of different versions of the reports. The comparison is done from the bind tab by selecting the category of the exports, the exports we want to compare and what we want to compare in these exports. The results are displayed on the left, displaying the matching documents without any differences and the non-matching documents with differences. You can then click one document in order to display both versions on the left and on the right. We see here that decimal values have been truncated in the new version. The result is differences highlighted in the table and in the graph. It is also possible to document all the differences and to send this documentation to end users who can then access directly the 360 bind tab to see the differences. And to finish, 360 Eyes. 360 Eyes is our product to document and audit the global business object content. The concept of this product is to propose universes and reports on top of business object metadata, which are created by jobs. 360 Eyes compliance is the same concept, but applied on licensed deployment. This product will be installed directly within business objects in two folders, 360i's jobs and 360i's reports. 360i's jobs folder will contain the jobs which will load the data from the business object platform to a database schema in order to create snapshots of metadata. Snapshots can be images of one platform over time or images of several platforms and even several versions of business objects. The snapshots are queried using four universes and 40 webby reports which are in these folders. There are lots of analyses available. For example, it's possible to list all reports with their actions in order to identify which reports are not used before a migration. It's also possible to streamline universes by displaying the percentage of usage per universe and then drill down at the universe object level to identify which universe object is used and which it is not used. Then, using impact analysis, it's also possible to list all 
reports using specific universe object, if a universe is updated, you will know the impact it will have on reports. Impact analysis is also available at the SQL level to search for column name and table name in universes and reports, and for BW objects like BEX queries or OLAP connections. It's then possible to drill down at the report level to document SQL queries and universe objects and to identify if universe objects are used or not in formulas to do query stripping. At this level, variables and formulas are available for impact analysis on specific functions. For example, it's possible to identify impacted reports for a calculation engine change. All metadata are then available for comparison. For example, it's possible to track duplicated reports based on the report signature and also to identify similar reports with a percentage. Comparisons can also be done between snapshots for reports or universes. For example, it's possible to identify created objects or modified objects over time for specific universes. The next level is to create your own reports for unlimited analysis possibilities. I will now conclude with a quick sum up of the 360 Suite products. 360 View to set up security matrices and bulk update content. 360 Plus to compare, promote, rollback or restore any single object on the platform. 360 Cast to burst and schedule reports. 360 Bind to run tests and 360 Eyes to analyze and audit all the business object deployments. Thank you for watching and please visit our website and blog in the description to find more information on the products.